Hello friends this last part on Query Boot Grid tutorial, in this part we will see delete or remove data from Boot Grid table by using Ajax with PHP, in previous tutorial we have seen how to update the Reddit Query Boot Grid table data by using Ajax with PHP. In first part we have seen server-side processing of Boot Grid plugin and in that part we have also load edit and delete button. So in the lead button you can see we have store product under data variable, so based on this we will delete or remove data from jQuery boot grid table by using Ajax with PHP. So we have go to jQuery code on index page and here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this method we have write boot grid constructor loaded .boot grid with function. In jQuery boot grid we cannot direct fire event, we have to load jQuery boot grid constructor for do this things, so after load constructor we have write product table boot grid variable with find method and under this method we have write button class delete with on method and under this method we have write click event with function. This code will fire click event on delete button under boot grid table, so this way we can use click event under boot grid plugin. Under this block we have write of statement with confirm box with message like are you sure you want to delete this, so if we have click on delete button then pop up box with this message with ok and cancel button. If we click on cancel button then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write return false statement, that means no action will be performed. But suppose we have click on OK button then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write product it variable is equal to dollar this data method with row ID. This code will fetch value from data row it variable and store into this product it variable. After this we have write Ajax request and under this we have write first option URL set to delete.php page. We have send request to this page. In second option we have write method and in this we have used post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data and in this option we can define which data we want send to server can define under this option, so we have write product and variable, we have send value of this variable to server. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and this function has received data from server. Under this function we have first write alert with data argument, it will pop up message which it will receive from server. After this we have we want to reload jQuery boot grid table data, so we have write dollar with table lid product data with boot grid method and under this we have write reload. This code will reload jQuery boot grid table data on web page without refresh page. Now we have go to delete.php page and on this page first we have include database connection file by using include statement for making database connection. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have writes it function with dollar post product did variable. This condition will check if value of this variable is set then it will execute block of code. Under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to delete from product where product it is equal to dollar post product it variable. This is delete product query. Now we want to execute this query so we have write of statement and under condition we have write miscly query function with argument like dollar connection variable and dollar query variable. If it execute delete query successfully then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write echo statement with product deleted message, this message will send to Ajax request and display on web page. So our code is ready so we have saved this code and check out what in browser. Friends you can see when we have click on delete button then confirm message has been pop on web page with ok and cancel button, so when we have click on cancel button then no action has been performed. 
So when we have again click on cancel button then again confirm message has been pop on web page with OK and cancel button. So now we have click on OK button now we have received product delete message has been pop up on web page and on query boot grid table data has been reload and data has been removed from table without refresh of web page. So our code is working. So we have make simple CRUD system by using query boot grid plugin with Ajax PHP. In the system we have fetch data from table, insert or add data into table, update or edit table data and delete or remove data from table without refresh of web page. So this plugin is used for display data on web page in table format with edit and delete button and you can also get other feature like pagination of data. Searching of table data, Ajax table column sorting and many more. So these are the benefits of using jQuery Boot Grid plugin in your project for display data in tabular format. If you like this video please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video with your friends. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching video.